Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Come on in, let's make something. Work hard, get dope. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple. But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have. I go hard, do what I need to make it last. They say the good die young, I hope I'm bad. Cheers to my past. Today I'm going to take you start to finish. We're going to draw, we're going to draw a new toy. Now, this is the winter time right now, and in the winter time, I work in my little wood shop, and I make toys for little kids. It's just something fun I started doing, and I I, I find that I enjoy it quite a bit. So I'm going to take you. We're going to try to now the last three cars that I that I made I drew from scratch just by looking at different designs, and then I drew it from scratch. But you don't really have to draw it from scratch. You can go on the internet, find a picture, and then I'm going to show you how to convert a picture and We'll try to create another little hot rod. And so we'll start up here, create a new file. Our dimensions are going to be 15 wide, five and a half on our height, 5.5, and thickness is going to be 1.5. And we'll hit OK. OK, the first thing I'm going to do is try to import a picture. Now, I recently I downloaded one, and it's right there. It's a 1940 coupe, Ford coupe, and I thought that would be kind of cool to try to see if we can't just make the outer design out of this coupe, and then we'll make we'll do some uh, custom wheels on it. And I think that shape is kind of a neat little shape. So, so I so right here I've imported the picture into the drawing. We're gonna leave it highlighted. We're going to go over here to this little bird, click on the bird, and black and white is fine because that's the outer line is black and white. So we're going to leave that like that, preview, and apply. Now you can see it has a few problems. Let's go ahead and delete the picture and see what we're left with. So you can see it's got quite a bit of trouble, but it's not, it's not trouble that we can't really deal with. Um, so what we do, this is how to, it's going to be a little tricky, but we'll go ahead and do it. We're going to ungroup all the objects off of this. We're going to, because we're just going to carve out a car, we're going to get rid of all the little stuff that's in, that's in here. And we're going to keep the main lines of the body. Now, do I want to delete that? Yes. You kind of have to pick and choose. Now, before you get too carried away, what you want to do is reconnect some of this stuff. So if you look at this body right here, we're going to want that line right there to connect with this line over here. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a line. I'm going to connect it from this bottom right here. And I'm going to go ahead and connect it over here, right there. Now, what that does, that establishes that bottom of the vehicle. And then what I can go ahead and do is erase everything else around here that I don't need. It can be a little tricky. I practiced a little doing this where I can basically, as long as you have the main shape of the body, you just go through and get rid of all this clutter. Now I'm just going to be, I'm going to cut the windows and the body. So it's going to have this whole shape, but everything else in the middle is going to be gone. Now I really want to establish these windows. So we need to do a curved line right here. And I'm going to do it from right there. Yeah, these windows are going to be tricky because you can see they've, they've tore out most of the window here when, when it came in. Let's see, that's probably, that's not bad right there. I don't know how perfect that is, but it's a toy, so we're not going to, we're not going to be too hard on ourselves about that. So right here, we're going to connect this line from here to here. Oops. We want a curved line, and that looks pretty good right there. What we want to do is start to trim some of this stuff away if we can. And we can't seem to do that right now. So let's just highlight that. Where does that go to? Yeah, we could probably get away with not even having that one right there. So we'll delete that. Go ahead and grab a line. And we'll come down to that point right there. 
That's going to be the bottom of our windows. This up here where it's straight. It takes a little time. I mean, let's be honest. It's uh, We're going to try to create something from basically from nothing, basically. Actually, the windows look pretty good. Everything looks pretty good so far. Now, we won't know till we do, till we, um, we're going to do half inch wheels. Now, let's see where these wheels are supposed to go. Let me look at that picture. Okay, so they're up further. Like almost, yeah, they leave a little bit of the back there. So, yeah, we need to make sure to put those up pretty close. And these are pretty close. So we'll get it close as we can here. Okay, so we got create. We're going to kind of line it up with where these other ones were. Now, that's a half inch hole, believe it or not. So we need to, actually, what I need to do is I, I need to wait on that. So let's close that, delete that. See, what we need to do is we need to make this as big as possible first on our drawing because we want a nice big toy. And I don't like to go too far because I like to leave room for my clamps. Now, we're going to see if we can't center that. So it's centered, but the shape's kind of, I guess it can just stay right there. The only problem is... I want these wheels to be lined, lined up really nice. So I think we're going to highlight this. We're going to see if we can rotate that just a little bit. There we go. So that'll be easier for the bit. When it comes down here, it's coming on a straight path. And I've kind of started thinking about the bits more when, I, when I'm doing anything. So right here, we're going to put it a half inch. And we're going to come down here, see if we can't put another one. Now you got a picture, a three inch wheel. Most of the wheels I do are three inch. So we're going to go ahead and just draw one on there so we can kind of get a glimpse of what it looks like. So now what I would do is I would put a smaller diameter wheel on the front. The back looks pretty good where it's at, but I'd probably put a smaller one on the front. Now, so far that's looking pretty. So let's let's look at it with a smaller one. Let's say a two and a half inch wheel on the front and see if that improves the look. Yeah, definitely. So it's going to get a drop down. Actually, we should put two and a half on the front and the back. So we're going to have to make some custom wheels for this one. That looks better already. Okay, right now we are done with the drawing. We're gonna go ahead and give this a try. We'll go ahead and go over to our tool path. Now, the first thing I do is I always do the axles. So we'll group those together. We're going to pocket those out. Now we're gonna use one big bit today. I ordered a special bit for doing my toys. And this bit is a RD5200, and it's basically a um, spiral downcut, solid carbide, two flute, half inch shank. It's a down cutting bit that'll cut two inches deep. So, and my material's um, inch and a half. So right now we're going to remove this tool. We're going to go into my tool and see if we can find a 5200. I see a 5100 right there. So this is a down, this 5100 is a down cut spiral bit. We're going to use that since I don't see, let's see if we, maybe they have it in here. I downloaded all white sides bits, but it doesn't look like they gave me this one. So that's a mana down there. So I don't see that one, but we can use the 5100 because it's the same bit. It's just a shorter bit. So we're going to go ahead and select that and our cut depth for these axle holes is going to be 1.54. I want to go a little bit more than the material. That way it cuts through the hole really nice. So there's our bit right there. Now, I tend to do more passes than I need to, but we're going to do... Um, actually, you know what? Let me take that back. Cancel that. What I like to do when I'm cutting these axle holes, because the bit's plunging right down through the hole, I like to just do a half inch at a time and I run I run uh, multiple passes. So I'll do axle one. I'll do that in cap locks. Axle one. 
Then I go ahead and calculate that, close it, go back, leave it highlighted, do another pocketing toolpath, but this time it's going to be one inch, one pass, and I go axle two. And this keeps it from burning when it goes through. Because if you just if you just plunge through, it's going to burn it. Um, and it starts smoking and it's pain, pain in the ass. So I got two, now I need to do one more. It's highlighted. Now we'll do the 1.54. We'll do one pass because it's we've already cut a bunch through there. Hit OK. Now it's going to tell me, I'm going to put axle three. It'll tell me I'm cutting through the material. That's OK. OK, so you, you can see that plunges through. It takes three times, but it goes through. But I found that that works better if you if you go ahead and just run three separate tool paths if you're plunging down something like that. Now we're going to go up here. Now we need to do something on the a couple things. So you can see part of that's connected and part of it's not. So bef before we run a tool path, we're going to go up here and right click and we're going to join these vectors together with a smooth line. Now if we highlight that, it's all one piece. Now if we go over here, same thing. We need to highlight this corner. Uh, it's not letting me join that one. Let's see. Join with smooth line. Then we got one more up here to join. Looks like we might have to do it twice. Okay, so that should be good. We'll we'll test it right now. We'll group it. We'll go back. We're gonna do a pocketing toolpath. Now what we're doing is we're gonna cut all the way through this thing, through these windows. So the holes go through both sides. So we're gonna edit these passes, and I'm gonna do four passes, which is basically um, 0.385 each time. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And we're going to go ahead and put windows. And calculate. Let's see what happens. See, it, one of the windows was not connected properly, so we got to delete that. And we're going to ungroup this and go find out what's going on here. So something probably, there's one right there. No. Usually you can go to the corners and usually you can find the one that needs to be joined. It looks like we might have got it. I believe we got them all now. Let's try to join it again. We'll group it. We'll go back. And we'll go back to the pocketing toolpath. It's got the right bit in there, the right depth. We're going to edit the passes to four. The shorter the passes, too, it, it helps to be able to have the vacuum system get the chips out. Still something wrong with that window. Oh, I don't know why I wrote wheel. That was supposed to be window. Okay. So we're still having a problem with this window. And I, don't, I think it's right there. See the see it can't go in there. So go back over to get your scissor. Try to cut this out. Well, that thing's just laying in there. That was the problem all along. Now we need to ungroup it. See if we can get that thing out of there. There's part of it out. Okay. Now let's see if we we need to join something there. No. no. Okay, it looks like it could have been that piece. So let's go back over to our tool pass. We're going to group these back together. Close. Let's run the pocketing tool pass. Change the passes. The nice thing is once you do a drawing and it, it turns out, if you like if you like how it comes out in the end, you can, um, you know, you don't have to do this again. You can reproduce these a million times. All right, let's try that. Okay, that worked that time. So there's our windows. Now we're going to have to do that same thing to the body. We're going to have to go through and make sure it's all connected up. And the way I do that is, okay, it's 
needs to be joined. Smooth line. Okay, we got a problem there. Where did that line come from? Huh, I don't remember seeing that. Let's see if we can get that out of there. Okay. Don't know how that happened. So you kind of just go through, right click, join as many of these with the smooth line. So you can see, right, it kind of tells you where to join, where to join stuff. Like what's missing. I don't know why it was creating those lines though. Normally it doesn't do that. But you can go through and you can see the ones that aren't connected. They're black and you just join them together. I'm going to make sure that, okay, that looks good so far. And the only way to really tell is group it. Oh, it wouldn't let me group it. Why is that? Because it's already grouped. Okay. Let's go to the toolpath and see what happens. You kind of just have to play around with this. We're going to go 1.54. We're going to do four passes. We're going to do tabs because we don't want it blowing all over the place. The one there, one there, and one there. Close. Let's see, go over all your stuff. So cut that 1.4, that's not right. It should be 1.54. And the pass has changed. So we gotta make sure that stays at four. Let's set them there, okay. Going outside the line, tabs are there. We'll put body. And calculate. Okay, it worked. Okay, so here's our Here's our little toy that we're going to try to make. Now, why did this... So, oh, that's a tab. You kind of have to look at everything. Now, we're going to reset the preview and preview all and see what it looks like. Now, we got a problem right there. Something happened right there. So something's either not connected. That's why it's important to do these previews. So we're going to delete this body one because that's not right. Now we're going to go back, close this, go back to our drawing, see what's going on right there. Something is going on right there. And you can see there's the problem right there. So there's always, that's why it's so important to preview. So we need to ungroup this. So it's not letting us do that. So we're going to highlight, we're going to get our scissors and go through and trim this out of there. I think we want to get that one. Okay. That's why it's so important to preview. Let's go back over. We're going to highlight it, see if, okay, it's still together. We'll go to our profile, 1.54, we're going to edit the pass. Oh, yeah, here's a problem I see already. Cancel that. It's got the wrong bit in there. Cancel, select. We need the 5100. Select. We need to edit the passes to four. Set them there, okay. It should remember the tabs. No, it didn't. So put the tabs back in here. Okay, cut depth 1.54. Outside the line, the tabs are there. We're gonna put body down here. And cut. Now, we, now you see it still has that in there because I didn't reset the preview. So we'll reset it, preview all tool paths, and we should not have that in there. Okay, there we go. We got a cool little 1940 coupe. Pretty smooth looking. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. I think we're gonna put smaller wheels on it though. I might have to make some custom wheels for this one. Okay, let's go over the machine and we'll go ahead and install. This is. The bit that we're going to use is RD5200, and we'll go install it and cut this out.
And there you go, uh, 1940, 1940 Ford Coupe, little toy. They're all going to need a lot of sanding and get them finished up before they get delivered. But yeah, let me know which one you want, you like the best. 1940 Ford Coupe, the little, the little hot rod. I call this the fastback. I kind of like this one. I like, I don't know. I like them all. I guess I'm just a big kid. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Later. Bye.